what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so you're talking about scream six in this video here today so as you see here on your screen this is an image of a missing poster for kirby reed i did do a video talking about this in the past where i stated that they had an original idea regarding kirby and just acknowledging her by having a missing poster now we see that that is indeed true that was the original idea before they settled on the youtube video that we ultimately got confirming her survival status and that she's still out there so speaking to this we have been getting some deleted scenes being released and scream 5 did recently release on digital this week so we've been getting some deleted scenes from that and just getting some things about what we could have gotten like a scene with melissa and uh jasmine interacting before she goes to save tara at the hospital and then now we have like a deleted scene which we know was referenced by judy hicks herself in the movie when she says she was questioning amber and her friends at the station so i guess this is from that station scene that we didn't get to see but it's out there as a deleted scene if you want to look that up but the missing poster for kirby reed uh and the look of it of course i don't think is the best <laughs> they could have just used a real picture but what this makes me think is that there's some truth, of course, to the fact that maybe she did indeed run away. Maybe that's implying that she ran away shortly after the events of Scream 4. And what I mean is she didn't just run right away. It could have been like a month or two passed by and she just couldn't cope with the fact that a boy she was interested in gutted her. Not only did he gut her, he left her for dead. And you find out the accomplice was one of your best friends, someone who you love to be around and she just ultimately of course didn't care about you she you were just another body to her on her quest to be acknowledged and famous and you know that's probably something that you're just having a hard time coping with so you run away from home and the only reason that would be that's being backed up by this image is because they decided to use a old photo of her <laughs> from screen four times now shout out to you salem because you did mention this you put out the idea that maybe she ran away after the after the killing started in Scream 5 and she just went missing. Now, for whatever reason, they went looking for her or someone reported her missing and she just basically left town after Tara's opening attack and after Vince got killed. So why someone reported her missing that fast i don't know i don't know but that is a possibility which i do like i can get behind that the fact that she potentially ran away after the initial opening attacks in screen five but what i really think this would lead us to lead us to think is that she ran away sometime after the events of screen four now whether or not she'll be in scream six that's not yet confirmed but we pretty much have an idea that that's what they want they desperately probably want that that's got to be in the top five things that they want for scream six they want kirby involved they want hayden back they want to address what she's doing they want to get her involved with these new crop of characters and another person on twitter that i've that i follow and interact with shout out to you kyler i saw one of your posts you put out a great idea the fact that there's a lot of things for kirby to just attach to with these characters such as mindy who is a uh, horror nerd like herself and then you have sam who is having that trauma from having a love interest attack her and then amber who or not amber but sam's sister tara who has the trauma of a best friend trying to basically kill you and turn their back on you and go go against you so she has so many things that she can connect with ab about herself within these new crop of characters that are here but i think the biggest person that everyone wants to see her interact with is mindy <laughs> some type of witty comment or commentary or scene with them with some of the most witty dialogue and just horror enthusiastic dialogue we've ever had in the franchise something that of course would harken back to the scene in scream 2 when they're having the sequel talk something just hopefully where they are interacting and just going all berserk about their love for horror she could be like a film professor on the campus that they go to if they're in college she doesn't have to necessarily be at college or anything like that maybe kirby has a following for herself maybe she runs a podcast now something going on within her life that is drawing her attention to the younger group of survivors that we now have who go out looking for her help she gets involved with them sydney gail of course would be involved and we just go from there the fact that they did not do this missing poster i know a lot of you saying well that's kind of a breath of fresh air for you because it's, it's not really 
not really something that is conclusively stating that oh she's alive it's more or less something that just kind of implies that oh she may be alive because it's just a missing poster so you, some of you i've seen stated that you're glad they didn't do that and that they decided to go with a interview listing saying that she's she's alive because again that's that's your answer right there you don't have to question it or anything like that she's just alive the other thing i want to talk about is the scream 6 script so apparently the scream 6 script is done now i haven't been able to find the source of this so this would only be a rumor at this point i guess but someone over on reddit posted that during a panel on requels william shurak who's one of the producers stated that his favorite scream sequel is the script for scream 6. so that doesn't necessarily mean that it's completed, but it could just be implying that, you know what, from what I've read, this is going to be my favorite sequel. What I've read so far, this is my favorite. Now, I'm one of those individuals that think they are done. I do think they have finished it. And if anything, they have a, a thorough outline and now they're just finalizing any and all things regarding that script that they probably have been working on again since last year. I know a lot of you were honing in on the fact that they said that they didn't intend to start a new trilogy with this. That, I mean, that's that's what they said. And yes, that may be true. I could say the same thing, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that I haven't prepped for the Hollywood machine that I know exists. I can sit down and write a Scream 5 and I can say I probably wouldn't have any idea whatsoever about doing a Scream 6, a Scream 7. That wasn't my intention. I just wanted to write a good film and get it made. But of course, knowing how the industry works, I had outlines that I was fleshing out during the during the time that I was waiting for my original movie that I had already written that has been made to come out. And I fleshed out some other ideas and I have a whole trilogy ready to go now. That's that's something that they could have done. And I believe they did. I believe that during the time between filming wrapping 2021 to now, they have been working on a thorough outline for Scream 6. And if anything, they've already written the script halfway or it's complete. I think it's complete. And if it's not, they're just doing final touches on it at this point. Nev's going to read it. She's probably going to say, I want to do it again. Courtney's going to be back. David might be back. And hopefully we're going to have probably one of the best cast that we've had in a long time. Not that Scream 5 was a bad cast, but I think this could outdo the fifth one. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews that I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.